hi everyone welcome you all in this video lecture in this video lecture we are going to define pda by seven tuples and we will have example also so first we have categorized pda in two different types deterministic push down automata and non deterministic push down automata this is similar than finite state machine in which we have discussed deterministic finite state machine and non deterministic finite machine so let's define pda by seven tuples so this has q q represents finite non empty set of states next symbol is finite non empty set or we can say that this is the input symbols and this is extra tuples in pda then uh, determine uh, finite state machine so this is pda symbols called stack alphabet so this is also finite non empty set next symbol is transition symbol so according to transition we can categorize pda is either deterministic or non deterministic if move will be on the particular state or on the single state then this will be deterministic push down automata and if move for a particular symbol is going to more than one state then that will be non deterministic push down automata so concept is very similar that in a deterministic machine and non deterministic machine next symbol is q not this is nothing but initial state z not is another symbol or we can say that z not is another extra tuple then finite state machine so z not is stack start symbol and this is the element of tau this symbol is called tau or stack alphabet and final tuple is final states or we can say that finite set of final state now we have one point no move is possible if a stack is empty friends this is the transition or move if a stack will be empty then there is no any possible movement now let's understand this concept by one simple example we have three states two input symbols and two stack symbols a z not so we will understand what is stack symbols through this example also and one final state qf and transition are given here from state q not after accepting a and top of the stack is z not then it is moving to q not state and now top two element of the stack is a z not so we have to understand this concepts suppose initially we have to take one stack and say top of the stack is z not at initial page now what this transition is saying that you are on the particular state q not and reading symbol a and if top of the stack is z not then going to the same state q not and now top of the stack or top two item of the stack will be a and z not so just you are pushing the items so this represents pushing the item into the stack so a will be pushed so top two element will be a z not now on state q not after reading a and top of the stack is a so we can say here top of the stack is a so this is correct it is on the same state q not and top two element will be now 2a so you can write like this and next transition is saying on state q not if b is appear then and top of the stack is a then it is going to the q1 state and this is the null symbol null symbol represent popping from the stack so you have to delete one item or pop top of the stack so pop will be perform so what will happen here if b will be coming then top of the stack will be popped by one element so this is 
going to the q1 state and what is happening here if input symbol bar b and uh, top of the stack item will be a then we can write like this and it is on the q1 state and on q1 state after reading symbol b and top of the stack is a then once again we are popping so top of the stack is a and you are reading symbol b so what you are doing here popping and this will be continue if many more b will be coming and the top of the stack will be a this will be on the same state like and final transition is saying that on a state q1 if there is no any symbol you are getting and top of the stack is z0 so z0 is the top of the stack and then you will move to the final state so this will be on final state or you can represent final state by two circles so this is the way to understand or design PDA machine so you can say that this grammar or uh, this transition were giving for the language a to the power n b to the power n you can check for any string consider 3a and 3b so this will be acceptable by PDA machine but you earlier already know that this language is a context free language not a regular language so this will be not accepted by finite state machine so hope you understand the fundamental concept of PDA machine in next video lecture we will have many more examples thank you so much